So let's have a look at the, the preferences. Um, in here you have some some um, parameters that you can change in terms of the, the use of the software. In this first tab you can select what is the audio interface that you want to use uh, within your software, which means that when you are playing audio within your software where you want the audio to come out. Um, also regarding render, um, currently this only supports GPU, but the idea is on to in the future to add the GPU processing or eventually the SP, which means that instead of render everything on CPU, you can take um, take your graphic card or something like that to improve. And also, what is the normalized level? What is this normalized level? Um, actually, the, this kind of software requires a huge dynamic range because sometimes you could have uh, 100 explosions uh, that are happening millimeters away from your virtual microphone. Sometimes you may want to render a whisper that is happening several miles away. So you need a gigantic dynamic range. What the system does is internally it uses uh, double precision 64-bit uh, uh, data that will have a, a huge dynamic range and during the render the system will then normalize everything to make sure that this dynamic range it's perfectly mapped to the dynamic range of your system of an audio file and things like that. So in the end of the render the, the system will see what is the highest peak on the, the render stream and then normalize the output audio to that um, to make sure that this peak will not clipping or do things like that. So essentially this is going to tell that when you make some render the highest level that you get is in this case almost a 0 dB full scale. Nevertheless sometimes you may eventually prefer to render everything to lower levels or something like that. So it's up to you to change this. Also, there is the tab regarding units because from project to project and from country to country, you may have some preferences regarding your units. Probably some in Europe, people will prefer to use meters. Uh, eventually, you may want to use foot, inch, miles or any other ways uh, you can change the, uh, the the units of all your parameters which means that every time that you uh, change a parameter a numeric parameter it's going to give you information nevertheless all these parameters have units to allow you to understand what is happening and nevertheless you can always change this and you eventually do things like one kilometer and then this is going to consider automatically that this is a one kilometer so you can even change units as you type in okay but nevertheless these are the default ones and also regarding uh, graphical user interface there is this brightness parameter that allows you to have a darker or a lighter uh, background and also what is the particle the size of each particle that you want on your on your views uh, you have you have different uh, values one for the spherical view another for the remaining views so you can increase this and as you can see you will have particles that are uh, bigger and more easily to see okay and also the same thing regarding the particles on the remaining views so essentially this gives you information about how to show the particles within the 3D views.